Hi there. I wanted to take just a moment to explain uh, why airline in-flight magazines presented online um, is actually quite a poor uh, user experience for the reader. Now, typically, an airline will use a service such as this one here. Now, we feel that uh, the user experience can be improved on, and we've actually built a system to improve on this significantly. But let me demonstrate why this is not ideal. Uh, as we know, airlines ex expend a lot of uh, funds and effort to create their in-flight magazines to promote their brand and their destinations. And the in-flight magazine will typically have a life of 30 days while it's in the seat back pocket. And beyond that, the life uh, if the magazine extends through its online presence and services such as this. So I'm going to show why uh, this is not ideal. Now, first of all, we can see I'm, I'm viewing this on an iPad. The image is actually very, very small. And even if we change the format, it, it is quite small. So uh, we're going to flip through this particular issue. They've got a two-page scroll. If I want to get in there and actually read something, I've got to maneuver We'll close that. I've got a, I've only got this thin area in which to read, and it is really quite cumbersome. It is, and the aspect ratio, of course, goes out of whack. I can bring that down. Um, let's just say if I get that up to about full page, that's that page there is not bad. But when I try to scroll, uh, I've got to move back here, and not too bad, and. My scrolling, if again, I'm going to have to be moving back and forth. If I want to have the two left and right scroll buttons visible, um, I've actually got to, every time I scroll a page, I've got to make it big, uh, move it over, and then uh, scroll to the next page like so. Now, this isn't bad, but of course, we believe it can be improved on very significantly. Uh, the other important aspect is, of course, you need to have a Wi-Fi connection to use this kind of service. If you want to uh, ex ex examine uh, a magazine on the go, you have to have a Wi-Fi connection to use up your bandwidth. There is no means. Uh, well, there is a means, but you're going to have to download it uh, by clicking this button. And once you've downloaded it, you'd have to visit numerous airlines' websites to enjoy a, a variety of airline magazines and, of course, save them on your hard drive and organize those files. So this is what we would view as an old-school uh, method of viewing these magazines. Of course, on desktop, it might be a bit better, but certainly on an iPad, again, here we are maneuvering the page to get... That's kind of kind of awkward here. Uh, I've got this slim band and it just makes it very, very difficult to, uh, hang on, how do I change the page? There we go. So if, again, if I want to read this page, there we go. Try to get that to, no, I, I am stuck at reading it in this little area here. Uh, let's see if I can, no. I cannot explode that out as much as I wish I could. So anyhow, I hope this quick video explains why the typical uh, airline magazine that's presented online is not optimal. And we hope you'll stick around for some of our, our videos that we're going to be producing quite soon that'll explain what we have to offer, which we believe is miles and, a, miles, and miles ahead um, of this old school solution. Thank you very much for watching this video.